So tell us about your team. Who's on your team? Where did you find them? Okay, so I've gone through, um, I now have been probably up to about 10 employees over this time, which I generally now have five at all times. And then I have my call-in employees. I started off with a, my first employee was the one that I started off at home with. And he was an old friend from junior high. I've always had a, a friendship with him over the years because I was adopted and he was an orphan in St. Jude's as a child. And so when he went back, his mother got custody of him back. I kept in contact with him all these years. Well, when I started like posting, you know, does anyone want to come help me? He raised his hand. And so he was a childhood friend of mine that I've kind of mentored over years now, especially later on in life that we've been adults. Um, but he started the company with me, came in, worked for me. You know, we, we, we worked so hard between the two of us doing it all. And he moved into the kitchen with me too. And then from there, I, my best friend, her daughter needed a job. So, and her daughter had started to go on the wrong path. And so I said, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll give her a shot. I've been on the wrong path before and I've had employers give me chances and I'm, I'm let, let's take her. Let's see if we can turn her direction. So I took her under my wing. She's now been my longest term employee and she's my be one of my best employees and she has had a full turnaround. Um, which that's been an emotional journey too because I've watched her go from where we started to where she is now and I'm very proud of her. Um, then from there, another one was school connections. I do, um, I did get some applications turned in from social media, Facebook. So one of my chefs is a Facebook hire and he's been, he's a great employee too. And basically from that, it's basically mostly been people I know or word of mouth. And then now, yes, I, I also hired, um, two other guys off of Facebook. My, one of my drivers now contacted me off of Instagram as I post on there that I'm looking mm -hmm. for employees. So now my company is growing to where it's not just close people I know anymore. It's now strangers and people I have to build trust with my company, trust with coming in and carrying my product and representing. So how is that, how has that made you up your game as a leader to start working with folks that you don't already have a personal relationship with? Well, when I worked at the restaurant, like I said, for the management, uh, before I became a manager there, I was, uh, I got turned into, he mo nominated me to be the restaurant trainer. So when I left Pit Stop, I had trade every employee on that floor by the end of my 10 years. So I was already used to taking a stranger and teaching them the way of how it's done here, this and that, learning to push them, motivate them, turn it into a game, make it fun. You know, a lot of when I'm cooking, I feel kind of like I'm in a video game. So I do everything in a certain order. I've got all my pans lined up. Mm -hmm. I'm hitting this one. I read my recipes, hit them all one at once. And I kind of, if you can kind of program yourself into like this groove, then you just, you start to get a good feel for things. So... Um, it's, it's made me grow working with new people, I guess, because I'm, I'm a very shy person too. So I kind of have to, it, it's definitely been something I have to practice and work on. So, but I've done well and I did earn the position at that job and gave me the confidence to be able to do it with my own business. 